We will shift focus to the continuous ceasefire violations by Pakistan. This time Pakistan violated the ceasefire in the Arispura sector, injuring one civilian. Yesterday, Pakistani troops continued to fire on the Indian posts and the villages. Heavy shelling and firing has been reported from Hamirpur area of the Mindhar in Pooch district area. One youth, in fact, was injured in Anya area of Jammu after Pakistani rangers fired from 10.15 p.m. to 10.45 p.m. Ceasefire violations were also reported from Shodhia and Mandi villages of the port sector. Pakistani troops escalated the tensions at the LOC by deploying 120 mm mortars for the first time in 13 years. Residents of nearly 30 villages are facing the brunt continuously due to the heavy exchange of fire from both sides. The army has advised the locals to migrate to safer areas. People living at high altitude areas of the Balakot area have also been seen fleeing their homes because of the continuous shelling. People have Six people have been killed and many others injured in the recent ceasefire violations by Pakistan. जब से वो प्रधानमंत्री बने हैं और जी बीजेपी की गवर्नमेंट बनी है मेरे ख्याल में 60 साल में ये रिकॉर्ड है कि इतनी सीज फायर वायलेशन जितनी एक साल में हुई है इतनी कभी नहीं हुई है और जितने आतंकवादी हमले पिछले एक महीने में हुए हैं वारदातें उतनी भी कभी एक महीने में नहीं हुई हैं now, some of the weapons being used by Pakistan are usually the ones reserved for a full-out war. In fact, the 120mm mortar that is used for the first time last night has a range of around 7 kilometers. It's a highly explosive weapon and can be modified into a guided weapon as well. The 82mm mortar, though small in size and explosive power, is no less deadly. Now, this has a range of around 5 kilometers and is more portable, cheaper and even easily available than its 120mm cousin. The third weapon of Pakistan's choice is the heavy machine gun. It's more precise than the mortars and can fire thousands of rounds each minute. The heavy machine gun fire has the capability of penetrating building and light armor, making it no less deadlier than mortars. Okay, Gaurav Savant now joins us from Pooch LOC. Gaurav, we have seen this heavy exchange of fire, continuous firing, shelling from Pakistani troops who are targeting repeatedly at civilian hamlets. What's the latest that you're hearing? You are there at the site. Give us the latest update. There is tremendous tension after increased firing and shelling uh, in this area. As you rightly pointed out, Pakistan resorting to use not just of small arms but also motors in this area. Uh, the latest information is more than 30 schools along the border belt at the LC have been shut down. Several offices, several schools and other government buildings also shut down. People evacuated uh, to safer locations. Uh, this appears to be intensifying and the fear is, Avantika, mm. that in the days to come ahead of the national security advisor level talks, there would be more shelling and not restricted just to Poonch, Vidori, Bimbagali, but could spread to other areas along the LC south of Pir Panjal mm. and the international border belt. So there is tension, there is panic, there is fear. Uh, my sources in the army tell me they're responding in kind, but not to level that Pakistan is in terms of the character of weapons being used, Avantika. Okay, so not in kind, that's the crucial uh, word there that you mentioned, but what will be the army's response in the coming few days if the ceasefire violations continues the way it has, targeting civilians, uh, you know, all this while India has maintained that talks are the only way forward, which uh, is still on course, but will really, you know, the army step up and, and retaliate in the same manner as Pakistan is doing? Avantika, uh, uh, as far as Pakistan is concerned, Pakistan is targeting our civilian areas. As far as India is concerned, the, the response is restricted to those gun positions from where the firing is coming from, uh, whether small arms or uh, motors. Mm -hmm. Now, India is responding uh, militarily, uh, restricting its response to military locations. Pakistan is targeting civilian areas. So that's the difference between the two. Uh, so what my sources, both in the BSF and the army, are telling me that they're responding. Every time there's a shell that comes from the Pakistani side or, or small arms, they respond to that fire location, but mm -hmm. not using area domination weapons the way Pakistan is. Now, that is a decision uh, for which they will be, uh, you know, uh, falling back to senior military commanders uh, who perhaps will take political uh, advice whether they need to escalate this 
uh, or keep the response uh, response very targeted to Pakistani military and Pakistani rangers locations of Antika. Okay, Gaurav, and while this exchange of heavy gunfire continues uh, intermittently from both sides, you know, you were mentioning about the evacuation process. If you could just give us a little bit more on what are the steps being taken by the army and the BSF and CRPF to, you know, uh, to go to those areas where, uh, where you know, people are far located and just, just evacuate them to safer zones. The areas where we are at now, uh, about 30 schools, the instructions to evacuate uh, people and close down these schools uh, till the situation improves has just been taken. So schools are being shut down here. Uh, there are additional doctors who are being requisitioned, uh, you know, in case there are splinter injuries, gunshot injuries, people can then be looked after, uh, taken to uh, their food, medicines and stay. That is something that the administration is now looking into. There is no mass scale evacuation just as yet. These are isolated hamlets very close to the LC, uh, to the line of control. They are being evacuated just as yet. In the sense, people are being asked to move to safer locations. But some of the locals we've been interacting with, they say since their fields are here, uh, since their animals are here, uh, right. they do not want to come back. Uh, they would rather brave the shelling and hope the shelling comes to a stop. But then again, this is more a political and a military decision. Uh, the people, unfortunately, caught in the crossfire here. Absolutely. Gaurav uh, from the Pooch LOC area reporting live and getting us the very latest on the continuous violation of the ceasefire from Pakistan's side. Thanks so much for joining us. <laughs>